Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful sweater. I'm going to show you in this video how you can make the full body, how you can make the sleeves and how you can make the final edge. Okay, so please stay tuned if you want in the next video I will teach you how can you can decorate it. This is an example I haven't finished yet. But if you want, I can teach you in the coming video. Please let me know here in the comments if you want me to teach how you can decorate this sweater or you can leave it like that, okay? I also wanted to tell you, if you want a poncho, well, you won't divide here in the armhole and you're just going to continue making the rows that you need. But well, before we start, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me a like. But let's start. Well, for this sweater in a medium size, we are going to use this angorita. It's a fine material. It has a little sparkles on it. You can use either this color or this one too. We are going to use 200 grams in the color you choose. And, well, I want you to see how your fog looks. Look at this. And we are going to use a crochet hook of number three or three and a half according how you crochet. Remember that if you want to use the same materials that I use in all my videos, here I will share all the information where you can buy them. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es Well, either if you choose to make a sweater or a poncho, we are going to start by the neck. Okay, we are going to start making loose chains like this with our hook and one with one thread. And like this, we are going to make 140 chains to start. At the end of the 140 chains, well, we are going to check that we didn't twist because we are going to close in circle. Okay, we are going to go fixing. You see, we have to check that all the chains are facing to the same direction. So we are going to twist a little bit if it's necessary. Okay, once we are sure that all our chains are placing correct, well, we are going to slip one to close. Right here. So we will go up with four chains like this and then we are going to make two more these two chains will be uh, of division okay okay Th then turn over twice and in the same stitch we are going to insert our hook we are going to take two then two and the last two we are going to make a v you see then two chains and in turn over twice and in the same stitch we are going to insert our hook, take two, take two and the last two. So here we have two V's together. Now we are going to make two chains, yarn over twice, we are going to skip one, two, three and right here we are going to make a double crochet. Again two chains we are going to skip two and in the third we are going to insert our hook and again we are going to make a double crochet. Like this, we are going to repeat these double crochets with two chains in between 11 times. Well look, I get ahead, we were here, remember? We made two of these together, then we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven double crochets and again we are going to make two V's together then we are going to repeat eleven double crochets, a double B, eleven double crochets and a double B and then we are going to finish making eleven double crochets at the end we will have three and four double B's in each corner so it will be the back and the front and the two shoulders Okay, so once you finish, we are going to continue with the next row. Okay, to start the next row, we are going to slip until the middle of the first uh, double B that we made, okay? So now, once that we are here, we are going to go up with four chains and two chains more. 
and then we are going to turn over twice we are going to make the double crochets remember that the double crochets are made of three crochets again two chains and in the same stitch a double crochet of three crochets so we are going to make double B over B double B then two chains and here where we have this double crochet well we are going to insert our hook and we are going to make one over this one and this is where we are going to increase okay so we will have something like this then we are going to make one two two chains and we are going to make double crochet over double crochets we are going to continue making the double crochets of three crochets and well this is how we are going to continue for several rows okay making double piece over double piece and the double crochets over double crochets you will see that each row you are going to increase in this part one okay because until here we start making the double crochets but uh, while we are making more rows you will see that we are going to start making the double crochets earlier but the stitch by it owns will tell you where we have to make double crochets okay you just have to follow the path of the last row and you will see where you have to make the double piece you will make there the double piece and where you have to make the double crochets well there you will make the double crochets well if you are making a poncho you can continue making as many rows as you need according to the length of the poncho that you want but if you are making a sweater we'll see you in the armhole to teach you how we are going to divide remember that at the end we can reduce a little bit the necklace uh, even if you want it more close or if you want to leave it wider well you can leave it like that it's according to your design and to your own style but well for now let's just continue making as many rows as we need according to the project that we are making in this case remember i'm making a sweater so see you in the armhole to teach you how we are going to divide well I continue making the rows that I need and you see I stopped here I made 14 rows and it opened a little bit I already divide the armhole I put some markers here remember if you want to make a poncho well you are going to continue until you have the rows that you need for your poncho and then you are going to make a final edge with a beautiful stitch but well once that we are here I wanted to tell you that I already made a single crochet row to reduce and then I came back making craft stitch to reduce even more my necklace. I made this first and then I divide the armhole because if we uh, divide the armhole and then we made this we are going to create some, create some pleats here and it will look tight. So first you have to reduce your neck and then divide your armhole. Okay so to divide the armhole I go count from the center to here 22 spaces and I put the marker and I made the same in the other side okay I count 22 and I put the armhole right there and I made the same in the other side 22 and I put the armhole for the other slip also you can fold and half the half and just up your marker a little bit and this will be the slip okay but before I suggest that I you try on and see if the sleeve is correct there if the division of the armhole is right or if you need to move your marker okay but well once that you are sure for now we are going to continue with the same stitch making more stitches i mean more rows around the body until we obtain the long of the sweater that we want once that you finish we are going to make a final edge and if you want we can decorate like this I'm making some samples to see how I'm going to make it please if you want me to teach you how you can decorate well let me know here in the comments to make another video well from the armhole to the bottom I made as you could see here I just leave it open then I'm, later I will close I made one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and 12 rows and then I finish making a final row with a different stitch 
If you want, you can make this stitch or the stitch that you want. I just decided to make a simple, easy, but beautiful stitch. If you don't know how to make this stitch, well, let me teach you. It's very easy, you will see. Well, once that you have the rows that you need at the end um, to have a perfect edge, we are going to make this stitch. Look, first I started making this stitch, making one is, um, shell in one square, but it started to open too much. So I want to reduce, so I made one here. As you can see, I insert my hook. I started here and I insert the hook until the, mir the middle of the next square. So we are going to make chains, chain three, and then in the same space, we are going to make two double crochets. Well, once that we have this, we are going to skip one square until the next corner, we are going to make a single crochet. And again, the, uh, we are going to skip some spaces to reduce. Remember that here I insert the hook here, but then in the next one I'm going to insert the hook until the middle of the next square to reduce even more. So remember the double crochets will be of three double crochets. So once I have this, I'm going to insert the hook until the next corner to close. And I'm going to use this same stitch uh, for the sleeves too, okay, once we finish to make them. So Look, I already get ahead and I finished to make one of the sleeves and I continue with the same stitch. You just have to be very careful in this part because while we are uh, making this stitch, we are uh, increasing uh, one stitch in each side like we made with the sweater so it will open too much so the secret here is that we are going to reduce one double crochet here when we start the row but well don't worry i will make the other slip with you so i will teach you how we are going to make this kind of pyramid in this side we are going to reduce the stitch that we increased here so well to start i'm going to take one thread and with the hook I'm going to make a knot right here so I'm going to join these two sides like this okay so with this thread we are going to make a knot right here to join both parts if you feel that the sleeve it's too wide well you can join the sleeve with one square less so you can move and you can join to reduce a little bit before uh, you made this please try on to see if this leaf is correct or not if you like it like this or not well once we have the thread here we are going to make four chains right here one two three and four and we are going to insert our hook in the next double crochet but let me see here Okay, I'm going to come back to take both sides together so we can close. It's better, right? So, right here, taking both stitches, one from one side and one from the other side, we are going to slip one to close. So now let's go up with four chains and it will look like this. We are going to continue, okay? As you see now we close and we have the first double crochet. We are going to turn over twice and we are going to make the first double crochet of three crochets. And we are going to continue following the path and continue with the stitch that we were making. And right here in the corner where we have the double Bs, we are going to make double Bs over double Bs and we are going to continue and see you here before we finish the row to teach you how we are going to start and how we are going to reduce okay but well for now let's continue well here's where I finished to make the last double crochet and now I'm going to join these two sides like this I'm going to slip one let me insert my hook so right here, I'm going to slip one to close. So for now on, we are always going to have these three double crochets together. Well, as you could see here, we must have, have to make another square right here, but like we are reducing, we are just going to skip and just slip one to close. 
So we are going to start all over again. We are going to make four chains, then uh, yarn over twice, and now we are going to continue with the stitch making the double crochets. And at the end, we are going to have three double crochets like here. So here I'm making one of them. So I'm going to continue following the stitch. I'm just going to make seven rows like this one. And remember, always at the end of the row, we are going to reduce one. But here, when I arrive here in the next row, we are going to review. And remember that here, where is the double B, we are going to make the same. So look, here I'm at the end of the row again, and I'm going to slip one to close right here in the middle of the first four chains that I made, remember? So as you see, we kind of have a pyramid right here. So well, we are going to continue making as many rows as we need until we get the long of the sleeves that we want. So remember that you have to make the same number of rows that you made in one sleeve than in the other one. In this case, I made seven rows. As you see, here is where I is reduce, okay, at the end of the row always, and then I made the last uh, stitch to have this final edge. But well, let's continue. I'm going to start with the third. A row remember that I'm going to make a seventh the same number of rows I made in the other sleeve so for now I have uh, two rows one and two so I'm going to start the third but we'll uh, see you at the end of these rows okay well look at the end I continue with the uh, shells stitch in three uh, squares I made two shells so remember that I'm going to reduce the spaces and the shells goes like this, two double crochets together of three crochets and then we are going to skip one square and right here in the corner one single crochet. So in the next one I'm going to skip a square and a half and then I'm going to make the single crochet. So like this is how I'm going to continue making all around this sleeve and with this row we finish. And well remember that I told you that before we divide the armhole we have to make these rows, okay? So remember I made a single crochet row to reduce and then to reduce even more I make the crab stitch row in the neck. And then once we reduce the neck, well now we are going to reduce the armhole because if we uh, made it before and um, we won't have the same number and the same space for the armhole so it's better that we made uh, before we divide okay so that is secret and the tip is it's important and like this is how we are going to finish okay if you want you can leave it like that or like me you can make something like this I was making a sample I was I, I have this idea of to decorate this sweater like this but I think I'm going to change it because I think with a brighter color it will look even better so if you want in the next video I can teach you how I decorate this sweater please let me know in the comments because I'm going to use a brighter color I think I'm going to use a hot pink and I think it will look good right so well, what do you think? I hope that you have enjoyed making this sweater with me. Please let me know in the comments if you want to know how to decorate this sweater. If not, well, you can make some of the flowers that I have teached you in previous videos, or you can put a bra a brooch, or you can leave it like that. I think it will look good too. I didn't iron this sweater, and well, remember that also you can transform this sweater into a poncho. If you don't divide the armhole and you continue straight making as many rows as you need, you are going to get a punch. So well, I hope that you make it and if you make it, please take a picture and tag me. I love to see you making my projects. If you have other idea, please let me know also here in the comments. But well, please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow me on my social media. Remember that subscribing is completely free and you will be joining to my team it's very important and it means too too much to me and please don't forget to give me a like and if you like this video don't forget to share it but well thank you so much for watching and see you in the coming videos bye